Hi, welcome to the PMC video blog. My name is Sean Buxton and I'm a certified PMC consultant. With the closing ceremonies of the Sochi Olympics, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the game's exceptional athletes and what makes them the best at what they do and find out how they prepare to compete at the highest levels. So let's take a look at three gold medal winners from the 2014 Olympic Games. Michaela Schifrin is an American World Cup Alpine ski racer with the U.S. ski team. She is the reigning Olympic World Cup and world champion. As of 2014, she is the youngest ever winner of an Olympic Alpine skiing gold medal at only 18 years old. Schifrin began her skiing career in the driveway of her home in Vail at the age of three. She graduated to running gates just two years later. In the off-season, Michaela can be found in Beaver Creek, Colorado, where she does squats, stretches, and brutal uphill four-mile runs, all at an elevation of over 8,000 feet. It's been rumored she's even been known to beat some of the men in drills during training. When Canada's hockey team won the gold medal at this year's Olympic Games, it was hard to believe that their training camp had consisted of little to no time on the ice. As a former school teacher, coach Mike Babcock had gotten creative with his training regiments. With 47 multimillionaire professional NHL players, insurance premiums were insurmountable, so Babcock turned to ball hockey to walk through plays and strategies that would later take place on the ice. The journey started with ball hockey at the team's Olympic orientation camp in August, and it ended in February with a gold medal. Lizzie Yonald grew up in West Kingston in Great Britain and found a love for skeleton at age 19. For the last six years, she's been training rigorously to become a Winter Olympian, and she realized her goal this year at Sochi with a gold medal. In skeleton, the athlete pushes the sled at the start before jumping onto it and sliding down an ice-covered track. I don't take any notice of the times at all, said Lizzie. I'm a very self-driven and process-driven athlete. Lizzie already has her sights set on the 2018 Games. It's truly amazing the training and preparation that an athlete must go through to achieve that level of performance. Taking a look at all the planning, commitment, and sacrifice, we have to also acknowledge that none of them would ever achieve such greatness without the help of their coaches. And just like in the Olympics, the role of a coach is critical in realizing anyone's full potential in business. So many of us get bogged down in the day-to-day -day grind of being a manager and miss out on the incredible opportunity we have as coaches to shape, influence, and help people realize their full potential in their work. Now, it may not seem as important as a gold medal, but I would argue that the opportunity we have as coaches is even more important. The people you coach will become better at their jobs, increase their performance, and grow as individuals. And this kind of commitment leads to something more valuable than any gold medal. Their success means they can provide for their families. It means they can buy that vacation home or accomplish their wildest dreams. And we get to play a part in that all because we take the time to coach them. So today we want to remind you how important your role is as a coach. It's so much more than the paperwork. It's about the people. At PMC, our goal is simple, to help make managers like you better coaches. So check out our website to find out more about how we can partner with you, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Sean Buxton with PMC. Thanks for watching, and remember, even the best athletes still need a coach like you.